A wildlife conservation campaign that will coordinate multi-stakeholders' efforts aimed at protecting wildlife in Nigeria has been launched in Lagos. Minister of State for Environment Sharon Ikeazo noted at the event that other viable species that can serve as alternative to bushmeat will be pr promoted among Nigerians as part of the campaign. Adeni Itaiwo reports. It was a call for concerted action to save the world, this time by saving the world. That call by Wild Eat Ambassadors becomes all the more acute in the face of statistics, which, for instance, puts the total number of lions in Nigeria at less than 50, while 308 other species of animals and plants, including pangolins, rhinos, and elephants, are threatened in the country. Addressing this attack on the ecosystem requires not only strong political will, but collaborative efforts among government agencies and development partners. I want to make sure we have a healthy environment for our children, and that means conserving wildlife. You know, it's part of one system. Reiterating federal government's pledge to tackle all environmental and climate change issues, Minister of State for Environment Sharon Ikazo says, Nigeria is already taking the lead in international commitment for the recovery of biodiversity. Customs has come up with a lot of seizures of uh, ivory and pangolin uh, skills, and this is all part of our collaborative effort. And we're coming up with a national strategic plan on illegal wildlife trade. For Lagos, which is actively battling open sale and consumption of pangolins and other wildlife in a queer area of the state, the campaign is necessary to restore harmony to nature and promote one health paradigm. We are sort of farming uh, wildlife like uh, grass cutter and guinea fowls that uh, taste like they grow up in the wild. We can still satisfy that taste without depleting the natural wildlife. Stakeholders say it is important that members of the public are enlisted and sensitized on steps that can help wildlife conservation and biodiversity restoration. In Lagos, Adeni Itaiwo, NT News.